Hello. My name is Dean Sidarski. I live in District 9. I'm an educator. I've had the privilege of volunteering at New Urban Arts to help the high school students of Providence with schoolwork. New it gives our city's youth the access to studio arts and adult mentorship that they cannot get in their schools. I often think about how far some of those students travel to reach NUA after a full day of classes and about how many more students do not have the time, energy, or resources to make it even greater distances so they have the same need. I think about how wonderful it would be if they could have access to these vital tools closer to home if they existed at every high school in every neighborhood. This is not a pipe dream. It's entirely possible, and we can start by altering the budget to defund the police department. I know that many others are making this case, so I'd like to turn to Police Union President Mike Amandi's response to defunding in June 10th's Finance Committee meeting. Officer Amandi claimed that reallocating funds away from the police department will impact their work with inner city youth programming, as well as with Crossroads and Providence Mental Health. I take this as a good snapshot of the Providence Police Department's priorities in what would get cut first. At the unprecedented protest at the State House a few weeks ago, I saw hundreds of officers decked out in full riot gear and weaponry that no civilian offense warrants the use of. I know what that equipment costs, and I know that it costs more to maintain and to replace it. So when Officer Amandi says reallocating funding from the police department means that residents will see decreased emergency response times and that as a result, businesses will go elsewhere and property values were dropped, I hear a threat. To me, that sounds like protection money, gang activity. He claims defunding will see higher crime rates. It's worth noting that during a recent strike by the NYPD, crime in New York City went down. Officer Amandi complains that they have let go of 70 officers in the last 12 years. According to the Boston Globe, 500 teachers in Rhode Island are facing layoffs because of the pandemic. The most generous interpretation of these comments betray that the police department has never known austerity. Maybe our teachers, when they are done spending their own money on supplies for their students, can take a moment to explain it to them. Maybe it's their turn to try it, rather than our black and brown communities, to endure it decade after decade, century after century. Thank you for your time.